This will be a short screencast on running Spinrite on a Mac uh, with a drive inside my laptop. First thing to do is run Discutel list to get a list of the devices on the machine. In my case, the drive I want to work on is disk zero, and it's owned by root right now. I need to change that to the current user so that uh, I can read it when I'm running the virtual machine. Next I want to create the disk, it's called a raw disk file descriptor for VirtualBox. Uh, it's just a text file that will be created to allow the virtual machine to mount that drive uh, as if it were a, a full disk. So I run this VBox manage command and that will take a look at the device and then create the file. I'm creating the VMDK file inside of a path uh, where I have already created a DOS type uh, VM in VirtualBox. You can see it in the background. And then when it's created, I'll add it to that virtual machine that I've set up. And here in Finder, you can see the file that it created. And I'm going to add that now in the Storage tab. You can see where I've got the Spinrite ISO already uh, mounted uh, so it can uh, boot up off of that. And this is where I get the resource busy error. I'm not sure if something mounted the volume in the background, like maybe Spotlight or Alfred, but somehow it's mounted again. So I need to open up Disk Utility and unmount it. I could have done it from the command line, but it's just easier in Disk Utility. Okay, now that it's unmounted, I'll try adding it to the virtual machine again. And it looks right. Okay, now I'll try starting it up. but I was too slow. Something remounted that volume. So I'll try it again quicker this time. Oh, and there we go. So now Spinrite will boot up like normally, uh, as if I had pulled this drive and put it in a PC and booted up with the um, ISO image on a on a uh, CD or uh, using the uh, thumb drive version. Um, operating it this way in the Windows is exactly the same. So I select the drive that I want and run it. I should mention that it only shows one partition there. That's just kind of the way that uh, BSD uh, creates one partition and then slices it up uh, inside of uh, the kernel so that uh, it's read that way. And now it's going to run for a few hours, but pretty quickly. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful to you.